All right, everyone. So the Lions have extended two key parts of what they're building, which is executive vice president general and general manager Brad Holmes and head coach Dan Campbell. And the extensions take them through 2027, according to Adam Schefter. And the reason we're doing this story is, number one, to highlight that, hey, what a success this entire experiment has been in Detroit with bringing in Dan Campbell, bringing in Brad Holmes, you know, and a lot of people, I think, have given them crap for some of their draft picks. They've gotten crap from many, you know, because of Dan Campbell said some weird stuff in a press conference. But these guys have turned an entire franchise around in just three years. And you can argue in just two years because last two years ago, you really look at that season and say they should have been in the playoffs, right? I think they I think they know they should have, and you know, they're probably disappointed they weren't. But either way, you know, they they shocked everybody last year and they really made a run. But now is when the pressure comes, right? Now the pressure is really going to start ramping up because you're no longer the underdog now. You're no longer the Cinderella story anymore. Now you are a team that's expected to produce at a high level. And so if you don't now, you know, just making the playoffs isn't going to be enough. Winning one playoff game isn't going to be enough. You're going to have to get to the NFC Championship. You're going to have to get to the Super Bowl, right? You're going to have to make... You're going to have to continue to build. Otherwise, this is going to be stagnant. Now, the Lions, you know, they've obviously had a long time of losing, right? Everybody knows that. But at the same time, now the expectations are higher. And I, I just, we had to do this video just based off that to just explain, you know, I hope teams look, I hope coaches look, I hope GMs look at what these two guys, so Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes have done because you could tell even if you watch any of those draft room, you know, like the the war room draft things where they're sitting in there and they're drafting players and they're getting excited and clapping and, you know, hugging hugging each other and doing all this stuff. And you could just see the love that they have not only for the team, but for the players and the work that gets put in. And you can see in all these Dan Campbell speeches, even going back two years, right, when he first is hired that he cares about the players. He cares about the players. He cares about doing things right. And just those simple things, right? Just those simple extra steps. The sim- instead of, you know, viewing the players as well, these are guys that, you know, th- these are guys that are going to win us games. He views them as, hey, these are my guys, right? These are, these are people I have to look after, and I want to put them in the best position to win games. Because as good as these NFL players are, you still need the coach to put them in the right positions to win the games. And I just think this is an awesome, awesome story and one that now we're going to get to see through at least 2027 unless something drastic happens and they end up getting fired. But this is this is awesome, good for both of them, and let's hope they can stick to their program here. And I would love to see the Lions in a Super Bowl before that 2027 season. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.